and welcome to another episode of UX TV, brought to you today by Lori Weiss and powered by Data Meaning. Today, I'll be explaining the importance of prototyping and I'll show you how you can bring your designs to life using Envision. Let's get started. What is a prototype? It's basically anything you want it to be as long as it's a simulation of your final product. Low fidelity can be paper and pencil and high fidelity can have full color and interactivity. The idea for the prototype is to simply test whether the user's journey is smooth and logical. So whatever can communicate that and works best for you and your project will do. Check this out. This looks like an ordinary app, right? Well, I'll let you in on a little secret. It's not. It's actually just a series of screens linked together to simulate the experience of using the app. You can tap designated areas on the screen and it'll take you to a new screen. This is what a high fidelity prototype looks and feels like. And you can see how it can be extremely useful in the design and development process. It might look complicated, but prototyping is actually really simple and designers, developers, and customers can all benefit from it. First, developers love prototypes because they lay out a clear plan to follow prior to getting started with any code. Customers also love prototypes because they are so close to what the final product will look like. Let's face it, buying design is different than buying, let's say, clothes, because with clothes, you can try it on before you buy it. But often with design, the customer doesn't see the final product until it's done, and often they're looking at an invoice too. That's why we want to keep customers involved in the process as much as possible and customers who see prototypes report greater levels of satisfaction with development and feel that their requirements were met. Prototyping also saves time and money because it can help indecisive clients make decisions about the design early on in the game so that they're confident their expectations will match the outcome. Lastly, designers benefit from easier collaboration internally with the team and externally with the customer because test users can give instant feedback and designers know exactly what to fix. So how are these prototypes created? Well, one of my favorite tools to use is Envision. It's simple and easy to use and it allows me to create high fidelity prototypes that are interactive and I can test right on my iPhone. To get started, just go to envisionapp.com, log in, and create a new project. The next thing you want to do is just drop in your exported screens, and you're ready to go. You'll see your screens here, and if you click on any one of them, it'll open up build mode. Here in build mode, you just drag over the area that you want to be clickable and you select what screen you want that area to take you to. You can then choose a gesture and a transition to give your design the ultimate realistic feel. Also, if you have the same button that does the same thing throughout several screens, you can create a hotspot template and that will save you a lot of time because you won't have to make the box over and over again. Just choose where you want it to bring you to and you're ready to go. Repeat this process throughout all your screens and you'll soon have a fully functional prototype. When you're all finished, you're gonna feel really proud and ready to share with the world. Go ahead and click that share button and it'll generate a link that you can copy and paste to send anywhere you like, or my favorite thing to do is to click that SMS button put in a phone number and send a link directly to your user's phone so that they can click it and start using the app like they would a normal app and that will really impress your customers because it'll feel very real. So don't forget, this isn't just an extra step in the design process. This is a powerful tool to help you make the most of your design save time and money by eliminating unnecessary revisions, 
and communicate better with developers and your end users. I hope you learned a lot about prototyping and I encourage you to go try it for yourself. Thank you for tuning in and for more information, check out these links. I'll see you next time on UX TV. Thank you.